Max Soria. Max. I don't think Coach Stutzman knows who, who Max is and who Mike is yet. Uh, he, he's getting there. At, at first, I think he takes a guess, but uh, he's learning. He's definitely learning it. What's the what? If I were to to be able to tell you apart, because I even looked at, it, I was like, Max or Mike? Yeah. How could I tell you guys apart? Usually, we start off with telling people that I have the earring, he doesn't. But Stutzman lot let us wear earrings, so now it's it's just tough. Um, he's growing a little a little scruff, but obviously that's gonna get shaved. People say we have different shaped faces and different noses, but you look the same to me. Dude. Person is not gonna know. You look the same to me. Exactly. Okay. Uh, when you know you made the qual, you qualified for Buffalo twice. You go, this is your senior year. Uh, you know, obviously it's totally a different. It's a culture change. Stutzman's way different than Coach Beekner. What have you noticed different, and and, and what is the goal this year for you going into your senior year? Um, I noticed that definitely a culture change. We our team definitely needed that. Um, He's pushing us. He's strict on us. He he has a plan every day. That, I think that's great. Um, my goal is personally. I don't want to when I graduate. I don't want to be that person that says I'm a four time qualifier. I want to make the changes and get on that podium. You know. A couple years ago, you stole a bit at the MAC tournament. I remember. Was that OU? Yeah. You kind of like it was crazy. You came out of nowhere. You end up qualifying. Surprise there, and uh, you know. Going to the national tournament, your experiences so far, your two experiences, what have you gotten out of those two experiences? That MAC tournament where you probably weren't a guy that everybody, you know, they weren't going to, you probably weren't going to qualify yeah. unless you stole that bid. I like saying stole that bid, but you earned it. Yes. You know, but uh, when you look at that, what have you learned from that MAC tournament and the two qualifications? Um, honestly, like during that tournament, I, I believe I went 0-2 and I was like out of the tournament. And I was like taking my shoes off, all disappointed and stuff. And all of a sudden, my coach says, "You gotta, you got another match. You gotta wrestle for your true fourth match to qualify." I was like, "All right, let's go. I got another opportunity." And um, I laced back up, and I. Could you beat Northern Illinois? Yeah, Nick Smith. Yeah, you beat Nick Smith. I remember that. Yeah, and uh, I qualified my spot, and just being at that national tournament, like this big stadium, like it just, it got, I got that under my belt. I was there. I was under the lights and everything. So now, I mean, I didn't do so good last year, but. Now I know what it's like to be there. I, I'm I'm ready to go. I you know training there. When you look at the you know that that disappointment of a tournament like that, you're going you go into and hey you got a real true fourth place match. Yeah. And you win that match. You win that one match. You steal a spot. You qualify. Was it just kind of like a little bit surreal? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, I was all disappointed and just upset. My season was over, and then all of a sudden, like you know, I guess uh, good things happen to those like hard work and whatever. I got another opportunity and I took advantage of it. When you look at, uh, you know, Mike, you and Mike, your twin brother Mike, uh, you guys go back and forth. Um, that could have easily just been Mike. Definitely. Do you think about that at all? Um, I do. We are so even. It's it's like when we wrestle in the room, it's we're just going at it. He takes me down, I take him down, we're back and forth. But I, I don't know if it's just the outside competition, like I just end up being the starter. He could, he could definitely be the starter. He's done it before. I was hurt. He went and dueled me. Got a win. Actually, against Bloomsbury last year against Stutzman. I don't know if he knows that Mike wrestled. But, he probably doesn't know the difference. Uh, but, yeah, it definitely could be him. He's thinking about bumping up, but I don't know if he's ready for that. What do you got to do? You know, you guys are in there right now doing a bunch of cardio stuff because you guys are out with, like, a skin thing or yeah. something right now. But uh, what do you guys got to do besides cardio, get in better shape? You know, what what is it going to take for you to end up on the All-American podium at 125 pounds? I think... You know, I think my technique's pretty solid. I think um, I'm, I'm in good shape. I just think I need to get to that next level. i got to get out of my comfort zone. I was talking to Stutz about this the other day. I need to get my confidence up. So, like, my conditioning, so good where I'm, my confidence is there. I need to just go tough, get that chip on my shoulder, and be able to get that record where I'm, you know, 30 and win instead of 20 and wins. Talked about the culture change. You said you needed the culture change. What did you guys need with the culture change? What was what, what's different now that that you, had, you didn't do before? You said he had uh, Stutzman's got a plan every day. Yeah. You know, obviously works you hard. But what's changed about the culture of Buffalo wrestling? Um, I think just overall as a team, we needed it. Like guys have left, guys have quit, guys have just, you know what it is? They just do their own thing. I feel like the past couple years, so nobody's not 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 nobody, but not everybody is on board. Like now we're. We're as a team. We're a team together, and you know, we're working hard. We're staying strict, making the right choices. Stuff's called the championship decisions. We're all doing the right things, working hard, pushing each other every day. Just 
comes down to getting tough.